crispy Peak District sunrise. I'm over at uh, Chrome Hill at the moment and just about half an hour before sunrise, just walking up from the car to the to the top of the hill. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a hike, but it's not too bad. But it's looking fabulous this morning. Just looking down the valley here, down to where the car's parked up. You can just about yeah, there we go, that's better. So so up here on the left is Park House Hill. And yeah, the valley. What a bit of a bit of a cloud inversion in the background there. The sun should rise somewhere over there in about 20, 25 minutes. Maybe another 10 minutes walk to go, so best get on. It's a bit of a, a bit of a trek when you're in a hurry. You can already see three or four photographers up on the hill there. I'll be in their shots, I reckon. Beautiful over there then. Here we go, first image. Uh, stood underneath the tree by the stile. Um, so a kind of a, a low down view. Um, but yeah, very nice. So this is what I've got. Uh, settings are F16 at a half a second. Take out the dark slide. There we go, mirror lock up. And take the picture. There we go, first one in the bag. stood right on the top of uh, Park House, so I'm going to put the 150 on the long lens, see if I can get a picture of that.
Well, that's that. Sun is definitely up. Yeah, I think I got about, oh, I don't know, maybe five or six shots um, on Kodak Quarter. Um, but just have a look over behind me, where the, the sun is kind of picking up a picture of this little scene here. This wall running out through the trees and up, up to the crag in the in the top there. And uh, so, about five minutes ago, just as the sun was coming up, it was lighting all of that cloud on the horizon there, a pink. It was a beautiful shot. Absolutely blasting landscape, but um, the mist down there is fabulous. There's, uh, do you know what? There's still. <laughs> uh, I've I've run out of uh, I've run out of film. I've shot 12, but I'm just looking up top of the park house, and do you know what? I'm tempted to to put some more film in. That's beautiful over there. Ah, sorry. You know what? I'm going to do it. Put the long lens on see what I can get. is we're just starting to see the, uh, the cloud rolling in in the valley so we got a bit of a cloud inversion coming through um, <clears throat> so anyway I'm gonna head off back down the hill here um, back to the car but as I'm going down um, I've got the M6 um, with some silver cells movie filming so I'll be
be taking a few shots with that on the way down. Again, be interesting to see what happens when I drop down into the into the cloud and the cloud inversion. But um, this has been a beautiful morning. Yeah, just look at the look at the cloud inversion there. That's beautiful. So this is looking back up, back up Chrome Hill. Ah, oh, nice. The, uh, the moon is out. I think that was quite quite a successful morning. I got um, I got about 12 shots out of the portrait I think I, I put in to start with, um, and then when it all seemed to have uh, finished, started packing up, uh, the mist rolled back in again, uh, and I got uh, a few more shots off of Parkhouse Hill um, with the with the 150 lens, very very close in. There were some people milling around on the top um, and and then lots and lots of layers of mist. So um, yeah, that, that I think that'll turn out really well. Um, yeah, I put um, some slide film in, um, Ektachrome, which, um, which I think will really bring out the kind of the contrasts and the colours um, when, when that mist rolled back in again. The um, the slide film has got it's got a very very small um, uh, latitude to exposure, um, not a very very high dynamic range. Dynamic range, but what is in that dynamic range is really really contrasty and, and colourful. So I'm hoping it's pulled out, you know, some some really good colours. Anyway. Um, that's it now. It's uh, it's about ten o'clock. Time to head home. Just having a quick cup of coffee, um, and uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll we'll head on back. So that that's it. That's all now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Don't uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye for now.